Facts First presents… This Brazilian island is so deadly that only a handful of people are allowed ashore. If you set sail from the coastal city of Atenum in Brazil and head south, you will come across the small island of Ilha de Quimadada Grande. From a distance, it looks unassuming. It's just about 110 acres and it's uninhabited. From a boat, it looks very inviting. The beaches and jungle make it look like a paradise. During the winter, the temperatures reach 66 degrees. During the summer, the average temperature is 82. These are very comfortable temperatures. Although the island seems like a paradise, looks can be deceiving. This Brazilian island is so deadly that only a handful of people are allowed ashore. Before we get into our video, help us spread the word about Facts First by clicking that like button. Also, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. If you were to land on this island and begin to explore, you will quickly discover it is a very dangerous place. The island has earned its nickname, Snake Island, for a reason. In the past, scientists who've landed on the island discovered that there were hundreds of thousands of snakes living there. And today, there are still plenty of snakes on the island. But there aren't nearly as many as there used to be. That's because there is now even a more dangerous predator on the island. The Dysbos albifrons they don't harm humans. They are, however, a lethal enemy of snails because snails are their primary source of food. Well, besides this snake, there are a couple of thousand golden lancehead vipers on the island. These are very dangerous to humans. In fact, they are one of the most deadly types of snake on Earth. These snakes are members of the Bothrops genus. They got their name from the shape of their head. The snakes on the island, however, are distinguished by the color of their bellies. The snake has 36 sister species around South America, but this specific snake is only found on this island. These snakes can grow to be a little over two feet long. However, scientists have seen some that are up to four feet. Over time, their tails have evolved, which makes it possible for them to travel in the trees. Since they are on an island surrounded by water, they are doomed to spend their entire lives there because they can't swim. Some snakes are perfectly fine in the water, but not the golden lancehead viper. So this is pretty good news for people on the mainland because the last thing humans need is for these deadly snakes to begin invading our world. People believe that pirates brought the snakes to the island so that they could guard the buried treasure against bandits. It's not really known how they kept the snakes from attacking on the trip over, though. Scientists do have a couple of theories. They believe that the snakes were stranded on the island when the sea level rose, about 11,000 years ago. The island became cut off from Brazil's mainland. Because they were isolated on this island home, they evolved over the years to create their own distinctive species. Due to their isolation, the snakes have no known predators, and because of this there are thousands of snakes on the island. There is a chance the young snakes will fall prey to other creatures, However, once they're full-grown, the snakes are entirely safe from predators. Their primary diet is the birds that land on the island while migrating. When it comes to their meals, the snakes only feed on a couple of types of birds, even though there have been 41 species of birds spotted on the island. Their two meals of choice are the southern house wren and the white-crested elania. If a snake bites you, there is a 7% chance that you will die. Even with treatment, there's still a 3% chance. If you don't die, the venom could still cause kidney failure or your brain can bleed. The venom is so powerful, it can actually melt your skin. Chemists who have tested the venom here found out that it is five times stronger than any of the Bothrop's snakes elsewhere. There are stories about people who have been killed by the snakes on the island. A fisherman who visited the island for bananas didn't know about the snakes, and after being attacked, he made it back to his boat, and there he was found dead. Another story happened between 1909 and 1920. There is a lighthouse on the island, and at the time there was a lighthouse keeper. The snakes got into his home, though, and he and his entire family were killed by the snakes. When rescuers came, they killed the rescuers, too. The snakes are tracked regularly by a small group of scientists who visit the island. When they catch one, they measure it and check its weight. Before letting the snake go, they inject a tag into it. They need to take precautions when they visit the island, of course. They wear special clothing and they keep a very close eye out all around them. Also, the scientists are not allowed to go onto the island unless they bring a doctor with them. Which sounds like pretty good advice. You have a fear of snakes? Would you put your foot onto this island? 
Tell us in the comments below and subscribe for more.